Jess, I got a 3080. And we're going to water cool it. Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. And right here, I got the KFA2 or Galax RTX 3080 graphics card. It is the light hash rate model, but I don't mind, so I don't care about that. And we're going to water cool it using this Corsair XG7 water block. Since I have a custom with my personal rig and I like to keep it that way, so this is a no brainer. And I also got it for 51% off its original price. Here is the card itself. I mean, it's heavy and it has this clip on fan right here and it runs very cool I mean when I tested it with these fans on it was topped out at 60 degrees that was a max temperature so really cool and quiet and of course it has RGB fans but I don't care about that now since I Going over to the block. So we're going to tear this down today and put a new block on and see if water cooling your RTX 3080 increases its performance and makes it even cooler so you can overclock it some more perhaps. Well so in my system today I have the RTX 2080 Super and it is also water cooled but the question today is that when you look at GPU user benchmark side, I mean, I don't really go by it, but fun point to this is that this 3080 should be at least 50% faster than the 2080 Super. So after what a cool is, let's have a look and see if it's actually true. Let's begin. Body water cooler. Well, so I just made a big mistake in my excitement for this card and water cooling it. I missed that this guy was for Founders Edition only, and I missed it when I bought it. But yeah, we can just return it. It's no big deal. So, I went ahead and got this guy instead, the EK Quantum Vector, that fits my card, so it's going to be fine, and the backplate for it. So now the card is completed, so let's put it in the system and see if this is 40% faster, more or less, than the RTX 2080 Super that it claims on GPU benchmarks. I don't think it is, but 
If it is, or more, that's quite awesome. And I see what temperatures we get from putting this on water compared to air. So, let's get right to it. Two cards in the exact same settings, the same benchmarks, everything is the same. And uh, I did not overclock this for the moment, I will do it later. But the 3080, at least this model, didn't reach over 60 degrees while air cooled. And when I put the water block on, I ran it in my custom loop, and it didn't go over 50 degrees Celsius. So it's plenty enough headroom on, at least when it comes to the temperatures to overclock it but did it get around 40 percent improvement that uh, those gpu benchmark sites tells you no you get higher but that is just in synthetic benchmarks and you get a significant improvement in higher resolutions but I can say that it averages at 27%, so that's not 40% at all, but it's still a great card for what it is, but the 2080 Super should not discard it, it's also still a great card, and if you can't find a 3080 or 3090 or 3080 Ti or whatever you want, maybe look into 2080 Super or 2080 or 2080 Ti Still good performance cards And so that's it for this time. I hope you have enjoyed it Leave a like if you did and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all very soon in the next one